Hello, this is Amy with Create with Amy. And today I'm using the Stampin' Up! set, Free as a Bird. Um, it is available if you want to buy it through me. We can, uh, you can check out the link on the bottom of this, the page. This is the card we're going to make. And it's using the bird. And we're going to be coloring in some of this with the Stampin' Blends. And it says, your friendship means the world to me. The inside, the world needs more of you and some of those flowers. So we'll get started here. Okay, the paper I'm using is the Early Espresso, And I've already cut it and scored it. And Calypso Coral is the cardstock I'm using. So we're just going to attach that with the snail adhesive. Okay, and then we're going to decorate the front here. And I'm using another piece of the Calypso Coral, and I've ran it through the embossing folder that Stampin' Up! sells, and it's um, called the Emboss Lace 3D folder. Makes a pretty design. More of the uh, adhesive on there, attach that. And then I cut out a piece with the Bird Ballad DSP pretty feathers on there that'll tie in with the birds. Sometimes it's hard to decide which side to use, so I decided to use the feathers. But as you can see, there's a pretty side with some bird cages too. Put that kind of center, that in the middle. I'll move this to the side, and then we're going to stamp on the bird. And I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black. That's uh, preferred because of the um, Stampin' Blends. It, it won't bleed. So I'm just going to ink up the bird. And we're going to just stamp that down here. Press that in. Move that out of the way. And um, then I'll get my Calypso Coral um, ink pad open. And this is where I'm going to stamp that sentiment. Your friendship means the world to me. We're just going to stamp that on here. Okay. Then I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends and we're going to color this bird in. And the main part of this bird is the Calypso Coral and uh, we're using Dark Crumb Cake. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with uh, the Dark Crumb Cake. And we're just going to color kind of where it's... Uh, it's already got the little, uh, where it looks like it could be colored or shaded, I should say. Okay, and then I'm even going to do the little beak here. Then I'm going to come along with the light Calypso Coral. And we're just going to color that in. And then just take and kind of pull that together to blend it. And it just works so nice. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of this uh, light old olive and then just go on the bottom so he's like he's standing in a little grass or something. Adds a little something to that. Okay. So now we can add, we're going to layer this with the, um, the Early Espresso cardstock. We'll put some adhesive on the back. And then when you put it on the front, you got to remember just to put the adhesive on the on this side because this will be open. It'll be able to open like that. So we're just going to kind of eyeball it there and go like this. And I kind of tried to center that. Okay, so that part's done. Now we're just going to do the inside. And I'm just using more of what's in the set. I'm going to use this flower, this one, and then the sentiment, the world needs more of you. So we'll start with the one flower here. And again, I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'll use my card here as a guide. Just going to stamp that there. Then I'm going to take and pick up another little... Um, stamp and this is a little smaller and we'll stamp one there and stamp another there 
And then the sentiment, I'm going to stamp that in the Calypso Coral ink, just like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to color in these pretty little flowers. That doesn't take long to just kind of run through that. I really like using the Stampin' Blends. They're $4.50 a piece in the catalog. Um, they do come with a light and a dark. And so if you um, like doing the... Uh, where you have accents and adding color to things. They work great and they work well with the other colors. On this one, I'm just choosing to add a little bit of the crumb cake to the middle. Okay, and now the last step is just getting this lined up with this. And <clears throat> what I did is I just kind of laid it on here. So it's kind of centered on that, the front part. I'm going to put the adhesive on. And then I brought and just folded it. And then you know it's pretty well centered. So here we go. Yeah. There's the card. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you need any of these stampin' supplies. I'll have the list and the, the card, the dimensions of what I cut the pieces out with. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.